Oh, one more thing. Remember I told you that like, if you have carbon with oxygen, or carbon with an electronegative atom, right? That compound would be polar. I need to point out that. And so I'm going to talk. I'm going to use CCl4. All right. I'm going to just put it this way. If the if it's an even, so I realize if it's an even number, so the simplest way to tell it for you to just remember it. Even if you have C, I'm going to put CO2. All right, I'm going to put CH Cl3. Two of these compounds are actually non-polar and one is polar. Just give me a second to plug in my laptop. All right, so this one is non-polar. This is non-polar. This is polar. I'm going to explain why. So dipoles can cancel each other, all right? So the easiest way to, to let you get it for now, just know that if the numbers are even, they cancel. So this dipole, cancels this one. All right, so slightly negative, slightly negative, slightly negative, slightly negative. These two cancel each other. The one above and below cancels each other. Right now? Sir, we cannot see what you're writing. I cannot? All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop sharing and reshare. Hold on, you can see it? Someone said yes. We can see art. All right. All right, so once you have an even number of your, someone said they can't, no, no. Oh, you cannot see what I'm at. Right, let me see. I'm going to, I'm, I have a, I'm switching to black ink. So tell me if you can see an X I put on the screen just now. No, sir. All right. I'm going to stop share and reshare. All right. Can you see the, all right, I'm switching to red ink. Can you see a red X on the board? Yes, yes. No. Are you only seeing the red X or everything else on the board? You see in the black Every and the red. Please repeat. Oh, only the two X's you're seeing? Yes, sir, we're sure, seeing sure. it now, I like can load properly. So we can see everything now? All right, so yes. are you seeing CCL4 to the vivid? To the yes, sir. okay, yes, sir. Good. all right, right, good. All right, so I was saying that this chlorine, the dipole from this one, cancels wow. this one, and the one above cancels out this one. So all the dipoles can. This should not be positive. This should be negative. All right, so they cancel each other. So you basically have a molecule that is non-polar because there are no dipoles present. So that is why I said, once it's an even number, so just look out for that on the exam. 
if it's an even number, you it will not be a dipole. When I say even number, even number for your electronegative atom. And it has to be the same electronegative atom. So for example, carbon dioxide, how many oxygen are attached to it? So for carbon dioxide, you have two oxygen. So that means the dipoles will cancel. So it is nonpolar. However, carbon monoxide will be polar because there's no canceling. All right. CA3Cl. Cl. It's an odd number, so one of them will not be canceled. All right. So that, that is why I said, hold on a second, can you repeat what you just said about even number? All right. So earlier in the class, I told you that once you have like carbon bonded to a highly electronegative atom, like oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, it is going to be polar. All right but we have to pay attention to the amount that is bonded. So for example, you have fluorine attached to carbon. We have to look at the amount because it's important. So C, Cl4, once you see C and Cl, you would say, okay, it's polar because it's chlorine, but it's actually not polar because it's four chlorine atoms. And so the dipoles formed are going to cancel each other out. These two cancel, these two cancel. So if it's an even number, they will cancel. But if it's an odd number, not everything will cancel out. One will always remain. So that one will be polar. So the same thing for us. Well, go ahead. Can you please go, go over that? Go over it, please. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear you. Can you please go over what we talked about, please? Okay. All right. So just to keep it simple, when you have electronegative atoms bonded to your atom that is not, if it's an even number, right, all the dipoles will cancel. If you do not have any dipole in your molecule, it is nonpolar. So this chlorine is slightly negative, right? So that should make it polar. But this one down here cancels it. So, so none of them will have a negative charge, all right? This chlorine and this one out here cancels out each other. So neither of them will have a negative charge. So you don't have any dipole in this molecule because each one cancel the other. So it's like a pair of them canceling out each other. So you don't have any dipole remaining. So I was just saying that for you to remember it or just to get it for, for now, right? Because it's not, I'm just revising. I just want you to know that if you say an even number for your electronegative atoms, know that they're going to cancel each other. So you will not end up with a dipole. So CCL4, you have four chlorine atoms bonded to carbon. That molecule is not going to be polar because the four chlorine will cancel each other. CO2 is not going to be polar because the dipole from these two oxygen cancels each other. Now, in this one, you have three chlorine atoms. Three chlorine atoms cannot cancel out each other. Two of them will cancel each other, and you still have one remaining. So that molecule will be polar. All right, so if you spot an odd number, it will be polar. If it's even, it is going to be nonpolar. And remember, they have to be attached to the same atom. You know? All right? 
So CCL4 is nonpolar, but CHCL3, that is polar because not all the dipoles cancel. Is that clear? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Even polar. Yeah. So remember, no. All right, just let me say it again. Technically, these compounds would have been polar. Let's say to start out with, they would have been polar, but then they cancel out each other. So they become non-polar, all right? So the question now, these compounds, right? Which one, all right, so can you tell me the intermolecular force of attraction that would be in CCL4? So remember, we have hydrogen bonding, we have the permanent dipoles, and we have van der Waals force, which is from the nonpolar compounds. All right, so which one do you think is in CCL4? If you don't want to speak, you can text. All right, so let me see. Permanent dipole. Mm -mm. If you said permanent dipole, you missed what I said. Van der Waals is correct. Van der Waals. Right. All right, so let me tell So it cannot be, again, I know why you said permanent, because of the chlorine. But remember, if you look at the, the diagram here, I am letting you know that the, the charges on the chlorine atom will cancel each other. So if you see four chlorine atom on a carbon, they cancel. So look, all right, let me do it this way. This chlorine cancel that one, as in the charge. This one cancel this one, all right? So it's nonpolar. Right. So don't, just, so don't let this site of an electronegative atom trick you into putting permanent dipole. Look at the amount that is there. So for this one, this, take out this one. All right. Ba bam, bam. But nothing is there to get rid of this negative one. So it is still polar. So carbon is slightly positive. This chlorine is slightly negative. So we have a permanent dipole in this one. 